The President of South Africa, President Jacob Zuma, undertook a state visit to Lesotho over the period of the 12th to the 13th of August 2010. The state visit took place within the context of consolidating the African agenda with the aim of strengthening the historic relations that exist between the Kingdom of Lesotho and South Africa. The two countries have enjoyed good political relations since 1994 when bilateral diplomatic relations were normalized. After the senior officials' meeting of the Joint Bilateral Commission for Cooperation between the two countries, which was held in April this year, progress needed to be reviewed on the joint projects between the two countries. One of the important agenda points for discussion was the finalization of the agreement on Phase 2 of the Lesotho Highlands Water Project. This water project is regarded as Africa's largest ever transfer project as well as the largest ongoing joint construction project on the African continent. It benefits both countries in a number of ways by delivering about 780 million cubic meters of water to South Africa per annum and creating a huge number of jobs in Lesotho. Cooperation and the legal field. Other important projects that South Africa is involved in are the construction of the Metolong Dam and the Sunny Pass Road. South Africa has already contributed a hundred million rand to Lesotho towards the construction of the Metolong Dam and Sunny Pass Road to demonstrate the importance which South Africa attaches to assisting Lesotho in its economic development. Lesotho relies heavily on South Africa for its economic development, with more than 30% of its economically active population employed in South African mines. Approximately 50% of the income of the rural households of Lesotho comes from family members employed in South Africa, constituting approximately 30% of the country's per capita GNP. During the visit, President Zuma also met with the Prime Minister of Lesotho, His Excellency Pakadita Musisidi, who also hosted a state banquet for the President. He furthermore held official talks with His Majesty King Lidzie III. President Zuma was privileged to address the joint sitting of Parliament where he highlighted strategic issues of mutual interest to both countries. President Zuma officially opened South Africa's newly built chancery and diplomatic village in Maseru. During the state visit, President Zuma also signed a memorandum of understanding on economic cooperation between South Africa and Lesotho. The two states are members of the Southern African Development Community, SADC, therefore signatories to all resolutions taken by SADC, in particular the implementation of the SADC Protocol on Transport, Communications and Meteorology. <laughs> South Africa continues to support the SADC facilitation process to help the Basutu nation to find a political solution to their problems. Apart from various cabinet ministers, President Zuma was also accompanied by a large contingent of South African business which launched the South Africa Lesotho Business Forum. This forum provides an excellent networking and information sharing opportunity for business with the overall objective of forging partnerships between business leaders and entrepreneurs from both countries. Targeted sectors include hospitality industry, construction, banking, food and beverages, retail and mining. This state visit was indeed another fruitful visit to all parties concerned.